What's up, Internet? I'm Matt Guff from House.com, and I'm here with Dave Downing. Dave, how you doing, man? I'm awesome. Hey, yes, you are. You are <laughs> awesome. awesome. Thanks for being here. I'm just doing good. You're doing all right. Um, Dave's here at, in the studio, uh, walking through the 2018 line. These are the park-specific boards uh, from Burton for the 2018 year. Some of the parks. Some of them, yeah. Very, very yeah. few of the ones that we have. These are some of the highlighted ones. We have the Kilroy Process, the Name Dropper, and the Free Thinker. Uh, two of these are brand new to the line. Um, what can you kind of tell us about these these freestyle decks? So all three of these are uh, kind of geared towards a park rider, somebody who's mm -hmm. riding the snowboard park a lot, or um, they're twin tips. Yep. So riding backwards and forwards. Um, this is a, the Process uh, Kilroy. So it's really similar to the process shape that we have. Mm -hmm. It has a little notch on the nose for just no reason at all, but just to be cool, right? Yep. Um, but it has a centered base, so it has a quality base on it. Um, it has a uh, Biax class, so it's, a, it's less expensive than the process, but it's a great shape. Um, it's developed with um, some of the kids on our team, the Kilroy kids or younger, um, Lose kids, Ajax. younger generation of, of kids snowboarders that ride for Burton. Yeah. Um, channel, so all our boards, all the Burton boards come with the channel, um, three-year warranty, um, best way to mount your bindings on a board. Um, you can adjust it anywhere you want. Um, it's stronger. It's a, it's a better way to create a flex profile on a board, so that's mm -hmm. why we use the channel. Um, it's not patented or anything. Sure. Anybody can do it, but it's an awesome way to mount your binding. Um, pretty much any binding will fit on a board of the channel. Yep. Um, Union or, or Burton bindings or, or whatever, mm -hmm. um, so that's not a problem. But uh, yeah, this is the Kilroy process. Uh, camber, so it has camber. Um, this is the Free Thinker. So and that's is, a new one, isn't it? This is new also. So Danny Davis uh, designed this board. It's, this one, the twin, the Free Thinker, is really similar to the uh, custom twin from sure. last year. Um, okay. But Mark Gonzalez did the graphics, which is like the old, uh, super cool. What was the first Nick, you remember? Nicky Albans old yeah. one. Yeah. So Gons did the graphics, um, mm -hmm. really awesome. Um, this is a camber twin tip, so it's a twin camber, um, really great high-end park board yeah. for, um, you know, aggressive freestyle yeah. riders. Good jumper. Good jumper, kind of, if you're looking for a really good twin, this is it. Yeah. Um, really, really awesome board in the Freethinker. And then um, this one, so this is a name dropper, and this is a board that's flat so you can see there's no camber in it it's, it's totally flat um, so flat boards are real stable mm -hmm. um, you know rocker boards are looser yep. uh, boards with camber have more energy and more edge you know grip and stuff mm -hmm. but uh, flat boards are real stable so yeah. this is a great rail board um, a lot of people like flatter boards for rails mm -hmm. um, in park riding it's softer flex it has fillet of flex which means um, you can kind of see these pads on here and those pads are here just to take up space. The board's thinner than the channel, mm -hmm. so the boards are thinner. And when the board's thin, we can control the flex in it. Yeah. So it's a really soft board um, for doing you know, nose presses and stuff like that. Um, just really easy, great freestyle um, rail park board. Yeah, and even though it's like, it is a softer flexing board mm -hmm. you know, with Triax glass, it still has a lot of pop. It, the, the type of glass that we use in it, torsionally, it's stiffer. So when you're yeah. turning, it's not super soft, but when you go, to do a, a nose press or whatever, it's really soft that way. Yeah. So um, it also has off access uh, fillet flex, so that means there's a, a left foot and a right foot. You can kind of see that there. Mm -hmm. um, that's in the the core profile is at an angle, so it's meant to be ridden in a duck stance. That's right. And there's only one heel set edge right. and then one toe set edge. Right. Now, there's a, something kind of awesome that happened before we started shooting this video. We were talking about some old snowboard movies, and we were talking about uh, TV3 back in the day. <laughs> that was a long time that ago. Was a, how many years ago? 25, uh, whatever years ago. ago. So, right. But, um, so out of these boards, what was a, what, out of these boards, what was the board that was kind of like most similar to some of the boards that you were riding back then? Back then? I they, they were probably uh, Camber and Twin, right? I mean, they, boards have changed a lot. They, yeah. They're similar yep. to boards 25 years ago. Sure. But they're a lot different. The, yeah. the amount, the cores, the, the life. Um, yep. Infinite rides. We have a thing at Burton's called Infinite Ride, and we basically flex the boards in house in our factory mm -hmm. to break them in. It's sure. Like jeans. We break them in so yeah. they'll last longer. Yep. So that was that was a huge thing we did mm -hmm. maybe ten years, twelve years ago. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, 
the channel's a big thing. Yeah. I remember back then, like, you couldn't have a wide, wider stance than, no. like, 21 inches. T-bolt. Because it was just, like, that's what it was. But <laughs> yeah. with the channel, you can do anything in your stance, mm-hmm. which is really awesome because everybody's stance is different. Yeah. You know, changing your stance angles, your width, you know, toeward, heelward, all that. Mm-hmm. So that's a huge thing. Um, but, and then flex. Like, you know, back then, I wish I had a soft yeah. Board, cause I'm, I'm from Bear Mountain, you know, mm-hmm. and I love soft, soft, like playful boards and this board would have been awesome back then. Yeah. So, um, boards have changed a lot. There's still sure. snowboards and there's still toys yeah. that you have fun on the snow <laughs> with, but, but they've changed a lot. But these are all twin tips for, uh, park riding. That's right. Mm-hmm. And you know, a lot of, a lot of people ask like, well, can I take this style of board to, to ride pow, <clears throat> even though it's like a park specific board? Can you do that? Sure. Yeah. It'll, it'll work in powder. I mean, we make boards that are designed specifically for riding powder, you know, yep. tapered boards, which mm-hmm. we'll talk about later. Um, mm-hmm. Twin tips, you know, they're what they are. They're twins, so they ride backwards and forward equally. Yep. So if you're riding backwards and forward quite a bit, twins are awesome. Get a twin. If you're riding down the hill forward all the mm-hmm. time, you don't really need a twin. Directional boards are great. Right. Because they're going to turn a little better. They're yeah. going to just feel Twitties. a little better. So. But twins are awesome for riding backwards and forward. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you uh, are looking for a park board uh, this season, make sure to check out the entire line that we have here at thehouse.com mm-hmm. of Burton boards. Uh, these are just a few highlighted few. Uh, the Name Dropper, uh, the Free Thinker, and of course the Process uh, Kilroy. Um, leave a comment or question below. Uh, Dave, man, thanks for being here. Absolutely You're appreciate welcome. it. You're, You're welcome. welcome. And uh, see you guys around, and remember to subscribe to the channel. Yes. Yeah.